My name is Aaron Scarfia. I'm the regional manager for Komatsu Attachments. Today I'm going to provide some tips on how to increase the lifespan of your hydraulic breaker by performing some, some regular maintenance checks. So the easiest thing a customer can do to visually inspect their breaker daily is check your bracket cap pins, check your hoses for any damage or leaks, check your, your housings for any welding cracks, and check your upper dampeners. Users should check their tool every 40 hours, especially the top of the tool that takes all of the impact. What you're looking for is mushrooming or chips. Small chips can work their way up the breaker and damage seals causing devastating leaks. We recommend customers start considering a reseal of their breaker every 350 to 450 percussion hours. So if a breaker is not kept perpendicular to the material it's breaking, it can slip off cause a bind between the tool and the bushing, or cause devastating blank firing. Blank firing occurs when a breaker is operating and the tool is not preloaded against the strike piston or is too, extended too far out of the housing. So keeping your breaker perpendicular to the material is especially critical on the variable or V-series model. The purpose of the variable technology, the breaker senses the hardness of the rock and it adjusts its stroke its impact force and its frequency accordingly. If the breaker is slipping off of the material, it cannot shift, giving you the full benefit of the variable technology. So some other quick tips for operating a breaker is use it for its intended activities. Do not lift or pry with the tool. Do not allow the strike piston to reach the end of its stroke. Operators should also move the tool every 15 to 20 seconds. You do not want to engage for a prolonged period of time. Greasing your breaker is one of the most important aspects of maintenance. You must always ensure your tool stays properly greased. Lack of lubrication will increase the temperature in your breaker, causing devastating deterioration of your bushing and shank. Lack of grease in your breaker will allow the ingress of contaminants, which could damage your seals and cause striking to your cylinder and piston. So you can lubricate your breaker manually. We also offer two types of auto lubrication one that's mounted on your excavator and one that's mounted to the cradle of your breaker. Breaker mounted lubrication is standard on most medium to heavy size breaker models. It saves time and prevents over greasing. With a little routine maintenance, you can help avoid downtime, keep your breaker in optimal performance condition, and increase the lifespan of your breaker.